Hey, what's up, everybody? Um, don't mind me with the deep voice, cause as you can tell, I'm a little sick. <laughs> Okay. I'm just trying to balance this a bit. There we go. So I apologize if y'all can't hear me because I um, got the flu. So I'm just going to do this right quick. Welcome to another edition of Axe AJ Show. Uh, I know we got a little bit to talk about. Probably what we're going to talk about is my predictions on tomorrow's pay per view. So let's get to it. You have the kickoff pre-show with the Intercontinental Championship match with Curtis Axel versus Biggie Langston. Um, is it too soon for Biggie Biggie Langston to get a title shot? Well, they have been praising the guy as a late, and John Cena was the one of the few people that pushing him to the moon. But when you get the title, I would say. I think he probably will win by DQ. If he wins the title, I won't be surprised either. Because maybe that will be like one stepping stone for him. Or they probably, he probably will be the face of WWE as they was talking about all through summer. So we will see. So, Don. Curtis Axel or Biggie Langston? Biggie Langston. Okay. We got the Divas Championship match. AJ Lee versus Brie Bella. Um, um, it could be something. It could be a moment if Brie Bella does win the title. But I'm going to go for AJ Lee to retain. What about you? I think AJ Lee still retains. I think it's time to tell him what happened. Okay. Not your choice. WWE Tag Team Championship Triple Threat Match with Cody Rose and Goldust versus The Shield versus The Usos. It's going to be a good match, but um, my opinion, I don't think they're going to let them go with the titles that soon. This could be like a setup for like, you know, for Survivor Series match, so, because Survivor Series is next month. So this should be all just a setup for that. Um, Don, who do you think for the Tag Team Championships? I'm going to go with the and Cody Rose. Okay. Okay. We got a handicap on the cell match. Um, TM Pro versus Ryback and Paul Heyman. Um, I think Paul Heyman will have some tricks in this league, so I, some odd reason, I think CM Punk is not going to win this. I think Ryback and Paul Heyman is going to win. It's just I got a feeling that Paul Heyman got some tricks in the sleeve. Um, who do you think is going to win that Hell in a Cell handicap match? I think it's going to be CM Punk. I think he's going to try to get himself pulled together after especially what happened last night. He's going to try to get himself together and I think he won. Okay. Let's see. World Heavyweight Championship match at Burl Del Rio defending against a returning John Cena. Um, I know there's a lot of questions in this match especially the return of John Cena so soon and of course you're going to have the a lot of people the Cena haters getting upset and stuff like that but there are some people that hope he does win it to put some prestige back into the world heavyweight title which I can understand that if they decide to let him win or they're just gonna have this drag on a little bit longer but um either way I think I can say that um John Cena is going to win this match. And what do you think? Okay. Uh, a match that was added last night. Um, Los, Los Matador versus the Real American. Oh, God, this would be a tough one. But I think the Los Matadors will win this match. And probably will keep this view, keep going. So. Yeah, the Los Matadors. Okay. And they're going to have their... Third kick over there too. <laughs> 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 I think so too. So. Yeah. That should be a good tag meet. Right. There's a, a possi match. yeah, there's a possibility they might add Bray Wyatt versus the Miz. That's probably gonna be like a last minute match. I think Bray Wyatt is gonna win that match. Um but that's just a possibility and it, they could sign that match for tomorrow. WWE Championship Hell in a Cell match Randy Orton versus Daniel Bryan with Shawn Michaels as a special guest referee. 
this could go either way. Um, part of me hopes that Daniel Bryan does win it, but part of me senses that Randy Orton will win. So I'm going to go with my gut and say Randy Orton is going to win this match. And what do you think? I am going to say I think Randy Orton is a good competitor, but I think Daniel Bryan will will win that match. And I also get the feeling after that there's going to be something between Shawn Michaels and Triple H. There's going to be something going on with those two. It is a possibility. Yeah. And the Miz with that possible match with Bray Wyatt. Yeah. Yeah, I get the feeling there. Something there too. In the criminal justice system, sexually so you heard the predictions here, and we're showing it at this location for the last time before we move. So, what information about you want to see the pay per view here? Um, just get a hold of me on Facebook and give you locations and directions about it. I'm um, also. Because also, when well, I'm just looking at the car, it could be scenarios of Free Battle and Daniel Bryan could walk out as both champions, like the champion couple. That's a possibility. But right now, only time will tell. But then again, check out our shows on WFSL Radio Network. Um, trying to think. You have, we're going to do a show afterwards. After the pay per view this Sunday night, 10 p.m. Central Time, on blogtalkradio.com slash WFSO Radio Network. And we're going to talk about the results after the pay per view happens and stuff like that. So hopefully you stay tuned for that. And also, continuation with the pay per view and any other wrestling news going on. Watch WF, well, listen to WFSO Aftermath every Monday evening at 10 30 p.m. Central Time on Blog Talk Radio. Dot com slash WFSO Rail Network. And once again, peace out. And hope you hear us on Sunday.